Okay, hey, I'm here with a bunch of experts in Deer many, field. many different fields. Many Deer different hunt. fields. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask them a question now. Ah, okay. We, this was a rehearsal, okay? So in a rehearsal, in a rehearsal, there is no reason in the, so if I say, we're going to come in, we're going to do a rehearsal, we're going to do this shot here. I want to make sure people can see that. Right, so Helena is setting up the shot. And I expect, so we're now we're in a building, right? We're in a small building, a church set. So I come in, somebody says, gun is, gun is cold, right? Right. So I expect, I expect to hear this. I expect that to happen. Okay, that's what I expect because it's a rehearsal. Okay, because Mr. Baldwin claims that he didn't know anything had gone wrong. So again, I expect I'm going to dry fire it one more time. Forgive me. I expect this, and I get this. Here's a question. Get in here so I, so that camera can see you, please, if you don't mind being on camera. I don't mind. Why were you not surprised? Because I knew you was fixing the sheet. I mean, I knew you said Not that. here. If you were holding this gun and you expected click and you got bang. Right. Why were you not surprised? Well, I wasn't surprised if it went off. Why were you not surprised that gun went off? One thing is because you shouldn't never just dry fire a gun or just shoot it just to see if it's loaded. You should check to see if it's loaded, period. Yes, but if it went off in your hand, right. would you not be surprised? I would be very surprised that it went off in my hand. Then why would you say on national television that you weren't aware anything had gone wrong for 45 minutes? He had to know the gunshot. There's no, there's no way that you can shoot yeah, a gun and don't know it went off. But if he, if he shot the gun, he, he had to see the immediate reaction of the people that got shot. So you had to know right then that you shot somebody as soon as, it's, as soon as you shot. You ever hold a balloon and have it, have somebody pop it? Oh yeah. It scares the ever loving crap out of you, doesn't it? Right. I, I would say that, that would scare you if you expected click, and you got, and you bang. got bang. the size of that hole right there, in a pee, huh? I think you would have right. crapped your pants. Yep. You would have to. And throw the gun and just... Oh, and he... Yeah. And yes, so, yeah. all right. So I just, I don't want to be the only one that says, wait a minute. That, to me, is the question. Why, why was he not shocked when that happened? And why, then, did he say he was unaware that someone had been shot right. when he's looking at them until 45 minutes later. I just, I'm trying to make that make sense to me and I can't. I mean, I don't understand how you can't think anybody was, I mean, if it's a pistol, it's not like he's shooting 300 yards. So anybody in the close range would automatically know, here you go, would automatically know that, that that person had been shot. I mean, if, I mean, we all standing here with somebody was here and you shot. Everybody would know I'm hit. You know, they would go down. So that's surprising that he's saying that he didn't know anything for, for 45 minutes. Very surprising. Unless he knew the gun was going to go bang. And there's only two, two logical places to take that is and I, I don't think I don't think he intended to do that but I do think maybe he's I'm naive gonna... enough to have thought you could shoot someone with a blank and scare them that's what I was thinking and didn't because I can't I mean if I then thought I was going to get clicked I mean, it's it's hard for me to do it because I know the gun is going to go off right. I know where the where that shell is so if I if but if I had no idea absolutely no idea whatsoever and i was expecting you know i'm just checking my texts right. and my emails and i where do you want the go oh, you want it there okay and i'm expecting 
okay, I pull the hammer back and then I let the hammer back down and it goes click. That's what I'm expecting. Can I go back to my email now? Yeah. Or my text now? Or can I go to the bathroom? Or can I finish right. my sandwich? Right. But instead, I get that. I, 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 I don't know is, why did, he wasn't surprised. The question is, did, did, he, did he take the gun and thinking that it was a blank and was going to pull a joke on him and like say, hey, Wow, like, well, they were setting they, the, they were setting the shot up, right? And and then he sh and not knowing there was a live round in the gun, thinking it was a blank, trying to pull a joke on somebody to scare them. He's going to joke. He to make sure it was a blank. You would think so. You would think you should. But that but Boy, that's you what they do that. Anyway. But they ain't supposed to have any live rounds. They're not supposed to have any one. live rounds. But they had a whole bunch of live rounds on the set. So. But if you pull a trigger and you get bang. And you aren't surprised. The only reason I can think of is that you're not surprised is because you expected to get bang. Right. Anybody have any any? Yeah, you would have to know that. I mean, if you pull the trigger, in this gun, that it's if I pull the trigger, yeah, it, and it bangs, you know it. It'll scare me. Right. Little twenty-two, snake shot. Right. Okay. All right. I'm just checking because I I I think that's the question. I think that's the real question. The real question is not even who, now the question becomes who loaded it and why. So then did somebody load the gun? Was somebody, was somebody told if it's a prank gone wrong, was somebody told to put a blank in the gun who didn't know what a blank was? Was somebody told to put a blank in the gun who knew what a blank was, what? but was rushed? Where was the bullet set? Or did, did, uh, because there's a difference, folks, there's a difference between a blank and a dummy round. A dummy round looks just like this. Exactly like a real bullet. Yeah, but a blank, except a blank has a, like a, a, blank, a wax yeah, yeah. cap. It does, and it, and it, and it, it's flat on the top. That's a blank. Right. And then and a it's bullet red. has an end like this. Right. Uh, yeah, you had the lead on the end. Now and turn that's them, the, turn that's them the this two, way. That would be the two difference in, in bullets. They will look a, the same this way, but this way, looking at the top, you got to know the difference between lead and, and a red top that's a blank. Yeah, because there will be a little piece of red wax in there. Or, right. But there is a difference on this side, because check this out. In a dummy round, see here? You can tell this has been fired. See that little dent? Right. Oh, it's over there. See that? Where's the yeah, camera? Yeah, where the fire yeah. pin hit. That's where the firing pin, pin hit. That then explodes, which ignites the gunpowder, which sends a projectile out. This one has not. Now, when you are given a dummy round, it looks just like this, except it's got the dent in it from the firing pin. Right. So because what they do with those is they'll take these, they'll shove some paper in there or some uh, wood shavings, and then they will put a, they'll put lead in the top right and that's so that when you're looking down the barrel of the gun you can see that there is still bullets. oh lead in it. yeah there's yeah. still lead in it so they will do that but that's how you tell the difference between a a live round and a dummy round that right. looks just like it from there but not from here so everybody knows that so they just take a spank cartridge and, and put, and put a lead, in in it, lead in the top they'll put something in their Pack dirt it pencil like shaving something uh, that's why People who really know will go like this. Right. If I can actually, I don't hear that well, especially after that. <laughs> but you know, they'll they'll check to see. So. Right. So that's my 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 theory is that that now, I have been wrong. I've been asking the wrong question. The real question is, why was he not surprised the gun went off at all? Right. Because I guarantee you, everybody else was. I still, I still think he probably was looking at to do a, a, a prank on somebody. But if they, if they were using the dummy rounds like you're talking about, then it ain't gonna fire when he pulls the trigger. Dummy rounds, so they will got not to fire. Be surprised a when blank it, when would, it goes off. A blank, yeah, <clears throat> right. <clears throat> but if he was surprised, the first thing I think, the first thing he would have said was, when that thing, when that thing blew up in my hand, I about, I about crap myself. Right. You know, it's so heavy. that that's a legit. So here's why it's such a tough question. The only reason 
why I, that would not have scared me would have been if I knew it was there. The only reason I would be cavalier about it, uh, because he said, I thought maybe she had a heart attack or fainted. Now, if my intention was to scare the crap out of you, and I pull the trigger and it went bang, and that didn't surprise me, then I think there's every likelihood that he believed he had scared her and she fainted. Yeah. I believe that part, because they say people were, were taken out and, and people were unaware of gruesomeness that was that well, was there. You could be unaware of that hole you just I in. find that, I find, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, folks, you want to see that? Here, check that out. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Look how big that is. Point at it. There you go. Okay, there's that. there's the hole. That, look at that. That's as big around as my finger. Okay. So, so I've been asking the wrong question. I think, and I think everybody's been asking the wrong question. Everybody's been saying, "How?" And I, me too. I said, "How could you not know the difference between a full load blank and a real, uh, a, a real bullet?" Because there's a huge difference. Right. But you could argue that somebody doesn't know that. But you cannot argue that there. That you don't know the difference between click and bang. And bang. Yeah, I'll I'll throw the gun. I'll be. Ah. Oh, and scream like a little girl. I mean, yeah. my God. <laughs> but, Pardon me, little though, girls. That's not a derogatory comment to little girls. Even though, even though, if he shoots and goes bang, he's got to realize that that you know, like if you, and especially if aiming somebody. If they immediately faint, I mean, the first thing that's going to be on your mind is that, like... Did I shoot somebody? Did I shoot it? Did it really have a, a live round? That's a big hole. That's a blank, big hole. The blank's not going to have a kick like that either. No, the kick is going to be, yeah, it's going to be different. The, 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 the blank kick is not like that. It's uh, it's more of a cap far. And he hit her where? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get into that because the family might be watching. But... Um, I do think uh, I think that's that's the le most legitimate question. So, and the only way around that, because everything that he said was, I didn't know. I had no idea. Right. I had no idea that anything uh, any, that she had been shot. You know, I thought maybe she fainted. I thought she had a heart attack. Both of them. Right. Both people. Uh, but which is, I think, if if I was there and somebody had shot me with, and it, uh, apparently it was only like 18 inches, that would have burned a cigarette hole. It right. still would it would have hurt like hell. It's a bad prank. There was a guy named John Eric Hexum back in the 80s, oh, yeah. an actor. Thought he was being funny. Blanks thought Blanks didn't do anything. Put a gun to his head and shot himself at lunch during uh, during shooting of a television show or a movie. Dead. You know. So but, it's hard to believe that somebody with as much experience as Alec would would not know that a blank can hurt you. But if he knew, if if he says, "Oh, I thought she had a heart attack." or thought she fainted, then that says that he was trying to pull a prank on her. I kind of think it does. You, I mean, because if you're shooting to pull a joke on somebody and they faint, then that's your reaction is, oh, I scared her and she passed, you know, passed out. Right. But if you... But if you if you shoot and you're surprised by it, wow, she hits the ground first thing, you're going to... Your reaction is going to go to her to, to it's like... You know, Which he did not do. But... You watch some of his videos, he does have a tendency to get mad at people, too. <laughs> he does, he does. He, there is an anger issue there. Yeah, anger issue there. But, but all of that aside, the most natural thing in the world to do, if, if you get bang instead of click, is to think, oh, my God, what just happened? Yeah. No matter how much issues you have right. with anger, in my mind, the only way you cannot react that way the way the way uh, Kim Kim Potter, the police officer, reacted when she realized she had she shot the the guy with a gun and not a taser. Right. She just, that brought her to her knees. Right. Bam! Right down to the ground. Oh my God! What what did I do? I shot him. I did it. I shot him. None of that happened. Right. So either you are the most arrogant, nasty prick in the world, or you expected what just happened yeah. and didn't know that there was a bullet in there. I think he expected what happened. I think he was trying to scare her. Expected what happened, but didn't expect the outcome. Okay. You know, I think he expected, you know I thought, I think if, if he has a delayed reaction of any time from when that gun went bang in his hand, 
he was trying to pull a prank on them and scare them with with a with a blank, you know, being pow, right. and scare them, and all of a sudden it goes off. And then he's 100% at fault because he shouldn't have been pointing a gun with a blank or whatever at anybody and firing. Right. So yeah, right. That would have put a heck of a hole. Blood's coming out. Blood is going to come out oh, yeah. Yeah. within you got to. five seconds. Yeah. 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 Got okay. You. If, if you're going to do that, if you're going to pull a prank, though, I mean, why? How could you trust somebody to put lights in them? I mean, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. He, he, he thought I mean, he it, thought it was loaded with with blanks. Even if you go, and then they setting up a scene. Do. They setting up a shooting scene, and he's got the gun in his hand, and he's gonna like shoot and scare them before everything gets set up. Pow! And she falls on the ground, and that was probably his first reaction is, "Oh, I scared her." But then he realized that he shot. Her. You know, I mean, that's I've been handling guns all my life, and you have. Yeah. If somebody hands you a gun. The first thing you do. You're gonna check and see whether you're it's gonna open it. You're gonna look at the cell. Yep. I mean, you're gonna look. You, yep. I mean, it's just, I do that and don't look. even think about it. I just do it. Yeah, yeah but you also ain't gonna aim it at somebody no. and, and shoot. No, you never, never. Not even a, you, you always, in the, in the, the, the rule of gun, the gun rule, like, pow, you know, up for it. The gun right. rule is you treat all guns as if they were loaded, even if they're unloaded. You yeah. treat. Right. You can treat all guns if they're loaded. You don't even point a unloaded gun. And even in our store, when we get a brand new gun off the shelf, it's never had any ammo in it at all. We still treat it like it's a, a loaded gun. Always, absolutely. We, we have it pointed at the ceiling. We uh, point it at a, at a wall where nobody is. If somebody wants to aim open it and look down the barrel, open up the chamber and everything. We treat it just like it was loaded. So. Well, in, in defense of the movie, of the movie industry, uh, the reason why it was pointed where it was pointed was because just like us trying to we were, had a hard time trying to set this camera up for right. this, so we just put it on the side of the hill and shot next to it. Uh, she was, as cinematographers will do, and as I as a director will do, uh, you've done it. We set up a shot, right? So, right? so in order for that shot to have been the one that she wanted, she was right next to the camera looking at the monitor telling him where to aim. So... That's how that's done. But the feeling that she was perfectly safe because there should never be a live round on a set and there should never even be a blank or anything during a rehearsal. Right. So this was a rehearsal. But he was not surprised when the gun went off. Yeah. If he wasn't surprised, he knew it was loaded. He knew, that's why I say he was pulling a joke because he knew that it was going to go. He knew that he was going to get banged. Right. out of that gun and so to not be surprised by it then you had to you know pull it I don't, off i don't see any other explanation I, mean, yeah. I really don't yeah me neither okay thanks folks later. we'll see you later go to uh southern boys with a z outdoors and uh it's a great site great stuff learn how to boil some crawfish and eat jambalaya <laughs> bye later